Hey guys, I'm Chef Michael Simon, and this summer I'm partnering with Bank of America to celebrate the All-American Cookout. We have been asking everyone to use the hashtag 123BBQ to share pictures on social media of everything they have been barbecuing and grilling this summer. This week, we're making one of my favorite pork recipes, grilled pork and escarole sandwich. Now this is so easy to put together, you guys. We have some pork loin cut into two ounce medallions and lightly pounded. They will do this for you right at the butcher shop at your favorite grocery store. This is a great tip to save time. All you need to do is take that pork out of the refrigerator about 20 minutes before you're gonna cook it to let it come to room temperature so it cooks evenly. We're gonna salt and pepper and olive oil both sides. And then we go right to a medium high grill. We turn the grill on about five to 10 minutes before we want to get started. We're on high heat. We put the lid down to really let it get ripping. And then we just take the pork and place it on the hottest part of our grill. Now, one of the important things to know when you are grilling any kind of protein is you don't want to fuss with it too much. You get it on the grill, you place the lid down on the grill, and you let it start to cook. That caramelization that's gonna take place in the pork is where all the flavor comes from. The biggest mistake I see home cooks make is they wanna move the meat all over the place. You never get that great caramelization and you actually steam the meat and don't char. It ends up not being juicy and delicious. Now, head of escarole. Place our escarole down. Take a look at our pork. You can see how the pork, it's actually starting to get a little bit of a lighter color as it's cooking. And that's what we want. Because now look, good char. As we're waiting on that, sriracha mayo. This is a great way to kind of amp up your basic mayonnaise, add a good amount of flavor to it. We dump our sriracha right in. Turns this beautiful orangey color. It's got a nice kick to it. So we move this over to the side, grab your favorite bun. I like a potato roll with sesame seeds because I just like the flavor of that. And it's a soft bun so it doesn't fight with the pork. Little bit of that sriracha mayonnaise on both sides. Our pork is ready to go. Looks great. Look at those great grill marks on our escarole. I know a lot of people, they think of greens, they think you're not gonna grill greens, but trust me, the extra flavor that you get from just a minute or two on the grill with these greens is gonna change your mind forever. Take our escarole, we put it down, roughly chop it up, take some of those delicious greens right on our bun, top it with a piece of pork. Maybe if you're treating yourself two pieces of pork, and you top it with bun. According to a recent Bank of America survey, 90% of Americans believe barbecuing is synonymous with entertaining, and I couldn't agree more. But no one wants to be stressed out over the cost of hosting a cookout. That same survey found that half of Americans find sticking to the budget the hardest part of hosting the perfect cookout. It doesn't have to be that hard, guys. There are a lot of things you can do to save money as you barbecue this summer. To make your budget go even further, consider using a rewards credit card. For example, with the Bank America Card Cash Rewards Credit Card, you earn 2% cash back at grocery stores, 3% back on gas for all your errands, and 1% back on everything else. Show us how you prepare your pork by posting pictures on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and other social networks with hashtag 123BBQ and have the chance to be featured on SeriousEats.com. For more information and to see some of the amazing pictures people have been sharing, check out SeriousEats.com slash 123BBQ.